Hey guys, and welcome back to Trials and Tribulations. The last part we were doing stuff. Now we're gonna do more stuff. Tell me this anyway. On the day of the incident, an unknown person phoned the surgeons and asked them to meet. Sergeant Hawthorne went to Dusky Bridge at the designated time and met with Mr. Falls. And that's where she was brutally murdered, sir. The criminal stuffed her body into his car trunk and tried to get a make a getaway. Mr. Falls was arrested as a police checkpoint we set up at the base of the mountain. Cool. I guess. Hmm. Well, you certainly have established the importance of the bridge. You have? Okay. <laughs> Naturally. Smack! Now, would the defense please hurry up and proceed with the cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor! Cross-examination, they're coming right up! Hey, hey, settle down there, kitten. If you keep trembling like that, you're gonna make me spill my coffee from laughter. Because it's funny to watch you shake. I I'm not t trembling. It it's just cold in here. The courtroom can be a cold battlefield, all right, especially for a beginner. I I don't need you to worry about me. I I mean, I mean the defendant, the witness. Everyone's a beginner in here. <laughs> you got me there. But maybe you should keep your claws out and show them what you got, kitten. It's okay, Mia. Stay calm. Just remember those court procedure videos you stayed up all last night watching. So you come to your first trial with no sleep. Or, if not no sleep, very little sleep. That is intelligence at its highest level, I do believe. <sighs> Never mind. Summary of the incident! And it's weird to see uh, young Edgeworth versus Mia. Or just Edward. Yeah. Or just Edgeworth versus Mia. Okay. On the day of the incident, an unknown person phoned the surgeons and asked. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay. Tell me about this thing. This unknown person. You have no idea who it might be, right? Sorry, but I'm afraid I do. What? Is it, okay, so. Okay. This is a. I, I get it in terms of storytelling. You have to say, oh, it was unknown. And then in terms of, you know, shock value, oh god, it was actually our defendant. In an actual courtroom, you would say that Terry Falls called her. You would not say an unknown person when you know who it is. You're trying to prove your case, you're not trying to be dramatic. I know, I know, it's a game. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I get hung up on stuff like that. Okay. The one who called Sergeant Hawthorne was the defendant, Terry Falls. W w what? The defendant? The defendant called her? Sergeant Hawthorne was a very thorough person, sir. She left a note about her phone call with Mr. Falls. A note? Yeah, a top secret memo that she left on her desk. The victim's note had to do the court record. I want to read it. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> God, he's so pissed off when he... <laughs> anyway, according to this note, it seems the one who called her to the bridge was indeed... The defendant, Terry Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Whose bright idea was it to keep that note from me? <laughs> Looks like the judge is even more sure of his verdict now. Listen up. Never ask a question if you don't already know the answer. Well, I didn't. That's why I asked. It's that detective's fault. He's the one that said unknown person. Hey now, don't make that face at me. I just said it that way because the prosecutor told me to. Ooh, logic. So much logic in this game. Was that a trap? With that cute face, I didn't expect him to be so sneaky. You think he's cute? Okay, whatever. Humph. <laughs> Humph. So pouty. God. Okay, here. I want to look at the thing. I just want to read the note. What does it say? Uh, check. Okay. Balls. 4.30 p.m. That bridge. Wear white scarf for identification. Talk to Dahlia. Tell her this time the whole truth must come out. Okay. I love how they don't address that, but alright, whatever. Dusky bridge map. We've already seen it. Autopsy report. Let's look at this. Uh, stab with a knife in the back. Um, died from blood loss between 4 and 5. Okay. It's good to check that stuff. Hold it. All right, hold it. Tell me stuff. Anyway, a bridge up in the mountains, but why meet there? Because it is a very important place to the defendant, that's why. Thank you. What do you mean by that? If you remember five years ago, the defendant kidnapped a young girl. He was chased onto a bridge, and it was there that he killed his hostage. And the 
place where all this occurred is, of course, Dusky Bridge. Stop pointing at me! Dot 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 exclamation point! <laughs> I should just say ellipses of like exclamation point, but anyway. The very place where Sergeant Hawthorne was arrested, then had cuffed, missed, falls. <laughs> Returning to the scene of the crime. How nostalgic. No, shut up. Alright, and that's where she was brutally murdered, sir. Yes. Continue. Was the body of the victim discovered right away? Yeah, we were really on the ball. We found the criminal within one hour of the murder. It was great. We even got to say, don't move. We've got you surrounded. Wow, I bet actually that sounds like it'd be pretty fun to say. Wait a second. Isn't there something weird about that? The location was the suspension bridge up in the mountains. So how did they find out about the crime so quickly? Sergeant, Sergeant Hawthorne must have mentioned the phone call to someone else, right? <laughs> if that's what had happened, then she wouldn't have been killed. That's a good point, honestly. I'll give him that. She never mentioned the phone call from Mr. Falls, but... She left a note on her desk about, yes, I read it, jeez. If only I had noticed it earlier, maybe she'd still be alive. I wonder why she didn't mention the phone call to anyone. The criminal stuffed her body into his car trunk and tried to make a getaway. Mr. Falls had a car, then? Well, that bridge is way up in the mountains, ma'am. The defendant and the victim both went up there by car. I mean, how else, right? Uh, you do have legs, but, you know, you wouldn't want to walk. What? You mean the defendant drove his own car? No, no, of course not. It was stolen. He stole it from a young couple that had been waiting at a red light. Mm, car thieves! I'm not sure how I feel about car thieves. Is this guy sure about how he feels about anything? <laughs> God, freaking judge's cousin. Douchebag. Hate his face and his freaky eyes and his stupid beard. <sighs> he should be fired and killed. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't like him. Whatever. Anyway. This is a photo of the stolen car's trunk. She doesn't look dead at all. Okay. Anyway. Naturally, that's the body of Valerie Hawthorne in there. Whoa! That? That doesn't look too comfortable. <laughs> wow. Alright, crime photo. I don't hate the judge, I'm just trolling. I don't know why. The victim. The victim! She was stabbed in the back, right? Or correct? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, men always seem to get stabbed in the back. We're talking about a woman here. You can't tell from this photo, but the knife was stuck in her back, nice and firm. The condition of the body when it was discovered is very important information. Detective, was there anything strange or noteworthy in the trunk of the car? Here's a photo of the trunk, but I don't see anything strange, do you? Or do you? Anyway. Uh, Mr. Fall- Oh, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, okay. Hold it! Hold it! What did the defendant have to say about this photo? What he always says, ma'am. I didn't do it! I didn't do nothing! That's all he says. Nothing? I wouldn't say he did nothing, at the very least. We know he stole a car. That's just what he always says, Your Honor. And then he always says... Ugga! Uh... Sorry. I told a little lie. <laughs> or something like that. Well, in any case, it seems he was caught and arrested. No, really? I never would have guessed from the fact that we are on trial here. <laughs> Precisely. Oh, shut up, Edgeworth. No one asked you. Alright. Um... I know what we must do. There's nothing wrong with it? I deduce that there is nothing wrong with the fact that there's nothing wrong. I mean, wait. Double negative attempted and failed. <laughs> she doesn't have a white scarf. Witness! Epic finger point? Uh... Yes. What is it? Do you have something to say, Miss Faye? I I'm sorry. I, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, that's actually pretty legitimately funny. This is... this is the first time I've ever had to actually address someone like that. Grrrg! You should have practiced before coming to co Who? On who? Who? Never mind. God. Honestly, Miss Faye, I'm not sure I like this. You don't, you're not sure about anything. God. What are you, like, Francis? You don't like anything. You're Francis from Left 4 Dead. That's it, isn't it? 
I'm calling it. This guy's Francis. <laughs> Say there, little kitten. Want a piece of my coffee candy? What the hell? You don't have coffee candy. You have coffee. <laughs> Hang on a second. God. Okay. Sorry. That I don't know why, but that killed me. Why? Say there, little kitten. You want a piece of my coffee candy? I'll take... A coffee flavored like chew or something, I guess. If you have them, I'm fairly certain you're talking about your coffee, like your actual liquid coffee. Coffee isn't candy, it's not sweet. It. <sighs> because here's the thing I don't, I do not see Armando or Diego or whatever, I do not see him drinking it with sugar. I really don't. I bet he takes it black. Because, you know, he's always says, Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark because I'm emo. You know? So, <laughs> anyway. Coffee candy? Candy? Well, you're still too young to be drinking real coffee. What? Grr, come on, Mia. Shake it off. You're a lawyer. Detective! Y yes, ma'am. This photo. You said that there was nothing peculiar about it. Is that correct? Y yeah, that's what I said. Well then, I suggest you take another look at the note written, written by the victim. No, 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 note. It very clearly says wear white scarf for identification. The caller must have forgotten what the victim looked like. Thus, this special request. Ah, I um. I have one very simple question for you, detective. Where is the white scarf? I can't seem to find it in this photo. Um, well, to be honest, we didn't find it in the trunk, ma'am. And you stopped there? You should have looked for it. Arg! Smack. The caller told her to wear to wear to identify herself, so I'd expect she did just that. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what do you have to say about this? Sigh. I see the defense is a little lacking. Dot 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 exclamation point, ellipses election point, whatever, I'll just say dot dot dot, I'm used to it. The scarf you're searching for so desperately for. Is it this one perchance? Ah! <laughs> well, where did you find that, sir? On Dusky Bridge. I was there first and decided to conduct my own investigation. Pretty sure you can't do that, but okay. W why? Why didn't you tell me? I made a decision to keep all pieces of evidence in my personal satchel. And by the way, if you guys have played the first game, you know exactly who he looks like right now with that pose. That is the safest place I know. Aside from, like, you know, actual safe places. You know, like safe houses, um, inside of a safe, inside of a bunker, um, on a protected aircraft, um, in a room that has guards, a police station... Um, <laughs> if we go by Twilight logic, one of the safest places you know, on top of a mountain in a tent. God. <laughs> that hotshot sure has a flair for the dramatic. It's not exactly white, as the caller requested, but as you can see, it's close enough for what it was intended for. Mm, it looks like it spent some time in the mud. Not surprising. It was drizzling on the mountain that day. Prosecutor Edgeworth! He was intentionally hiding that scarf the whole time. Smack. The court will accept the scarf into evidence. Scarf added to the court record. But hey, at least he did bring it in. But, eh, whatever. Now, if the, attorney, if the attorney for the defense has finished embarrassing herself, I'd like to move on with the testimony. That is all right with you, isn't it, Miss Faye? Boy, would I like to wrap this scarf around his smarmy little neck. What is smar smarmy? I was going to say snarky, but smarmy does not sound like the word you like a word you would use to describe sarcastic or like douchey. Do snark never mind. <laughs> Very good. Now, if we're done with this mud-covered scarf business, the prosecution moves to establish cons conclusively and with hard evidence that Miss Hawthorne and Miss Fall or Mr. Falls did indeed meet on the bridge that day. Furthermore, or further, we will show exactly what occurred there. That sounds quite promising. I can't wait to hear all about it. 
Arg! Everything is moving at his whim! <laughs> Don't forget, kitten. There's a reason why everyone considers this kid a genius. A genius, huh? Yes, a genius. Events on Dusky Bridge. Next time, we're gonna do more stuff. Because we're already out of time. So, see you guys next time.